Sunday you guys so I came back from working out and then y'all saw that I had went to the grocery store so I did decide to go ahead and cook we had greens turkey wings smoked turkey wings 
and neck bones and of course i made some cornbread to go with it but i just want to pop in and let y'all know that yeah i'm happy y'all i'm really in good spirits and i didn't get to watch uh church today i didn't get to go to the building but what i'll do is tomorrow i'll try to watch it uh the live version and then i'll let y'all know what they talked about okay all right i'll see y'all tomorrow bye Ooh, the light ain't giving enough just what's up you guys on this day i thought i had an appointment but i wasn't able to go to my appointment so i just took the day off i relaxed a little bit i took a bunch of naps yes ma'am i love me a good nap and that's what I'm doing. I'm relaxing, taking me some naps, just enjoying my day of relaxation. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Uh, later on that day, I did, um, well, later on that morning, I did get up and decide to go ahead and cook me some breakfast. And you're going to see some clips of me cooking breakfast and just taking care of me. So on this morning, I had some sausage and some pancakes and I had one egg. Because y'all know I'm not really uh, an egg person. But I went ahead and cooked me one egg. And I just sit around and enjoy my breakfast. Watch me a little Mia Snow. A.K.A. Britain Snow. And I've been really enjoying her channel uh, a lot, you guys. Uh, make sure you go and check her out. And yeah. So I'm going to get back to doing what I was doing. Eating my breakfast. And... I hope y'all enjoyed this part of the vlog. I really didn't even do anything, but I just took care of me. And I always tell you guys to make sure you are loving on yourself. Make sure you are doing self-care for yourself. And it's not being selfish. You know, we are not put on this earth just to take care of other people. Make sure you are taking care of yourself. Make sure you are... You know, just embracing life and enjoying life. And nobody has to be happy all the time. But it's it's a reason for being unhappy. So you have to be the one to figure that out. And try to surround yourself with individuals that are, you know, enjoying life. And celebrating their blessings. And that's just what I suggest. So, um... Okay, let me get back to watching Britain, a.k.a. Mia, a.k.a. Britain. She my girl, okay? I'll have her uh, information linked down below, okay? All right, I'll see y'all in a little bit. We'll finish out my breakfast. Bye, you guys. Let me get y'all adjusted. Good morning. It's really good morning. Hi, you guys. Let me uh turn on some lights. I'm hungry. Uh, uh. Woo, when I bend over. Am I the only one that make that noise when you bend over? Am I the only one? Let me put y'all somewhere where y'all can see me. Am I the only one that makes that noise when you bend over to get something? I don't know if it's because, you know what I'm saying, I'm at my big little, I'm at my big little age. Or my little big age. I don't know which one it is. But whenever I get ready to bend over and get something, I come back up with this noise like, <sighs> What's up? Hey, y'all. Welcome back. I don't know if I've said that. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm hungry, but I'm not in the mood for anything. I'm not in the mood, but I just wanted to open up the vlog and say welcome back, y'all. Um, It's been a few days. When y'all see me wearing these, you already know. I'm at work. True, true. I'm at work, but also my eyes started getting infected again. Um, Yeah. I think it's the lash glue. Remember, I had some lashes on, and yeah. But the last time y'all saw me, your little sis was chilling. I had the day off. I had an appointment to take my daughter somewhere, but it got canceled. I didn't have to take her. So I just chilled all day long. The last time y'all saw me, I was taking a lot of naps. 
I say this all the time. Who going to stop me? Nobody. But yeah, that's what I was doing. Just chilling, um, relaxing. I needed it. It's been a while since um, I was able to be at home by myself and just chill out. Yeah, no disturbance. Phone is on, on zero. Don't bother me. Yeah, that right there. But I wanted to open up the blog too to let y'all know. You know I've been telling y'all about the lit. This is not no sponsorship or not. I mean, this is not a sponsorship or anything like that. I wish it was. Yeah. <laughs> but I went and um, got some cases of it. I went and got the cases. Uh-oh, we got a door. I went and got the cases of it. Yeah. Because, y'all, I haven't had no coffee. And I just drank one of these. So, I'm lit. Yeah, I'm lit. But this is it right here. You can buy them in different uh, flavors. But I like the one. Well, I like all of them. But this one right here is snow cone. And then they got one that's, uh, I think it's called gummy worm or something like that. And then I also, hold on. Ooh, my nose is all stopped up. I also went and got the case of the pre-workout. So, this is it right here. Beyond lit, it's the pre-workout. Okay, so remember what I tell y'all. This is what I use. I just want to put y'all down if y'all looking for a new pre-workout or a new energy drink. Okay. I'm going to get out the house today and do some Christmas shopping. And I'm going to bring y'all with me. We're just going to be, you know, get picking up a few things. Um, yeah, I can't show you too much. I can't show you too much because I have several, several family members that watch my channel but i will bring y'all with me while we go shopping do a little christmas shopping and y'all remember i was telling y'all that i had to get me a new car i did get me a i did get me a new i did get me a new car i did your little sis has been blessed yes always okay even in the times that's that's another thing that i want to talk to you guys about even in the times of your of your darkness you don't feel that God got you, but God got you, okay? He has you. Not just through giving, getting stuff. He has you in those times in your darkest hour. God got you, okay? I don't know who need to hear it, but God got you. Surround yourself with like-minded, positive people that want things in life and they pursuing it, okay? That's that's my advice to to be at peace and be around surround yourself with people that want the same thing as you. The negativity, the that bad energy just brings you down, okay? So that's that's my advice, y'all. I told y'all a long time ago. I asked God for peace. That's what I want in my life, at my big little age. That's what I want. It's not about money. Because money don't fix all your issues. Okay? It fix some of them. But it's not going to fix all of them, y'all. So, I did get a new car. Um, it's new to me. Now, I always hear a lot of people saying different things to people whenever they are coming up in the world. And it's not a come up to the next person. It's a come up for me. Okay, and I do not like that. I don't like when people say, oh, she's not on vacation. She didn't even go out of town. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You do not have to be little people's come up. Okay, it's a come up for them. So celebrate it with them. Okay, and I've said this before. Stop bringing that negative energy to someone else's life okay if they went down the street and stayed at their grandma's house and said it was a vacation that's a vacation i did get something that was reliable i got a uh kia rio yeah i got a kia rio it's a 2021 kia rio yes and it's good on gas and stuff y'all because y'all know gas prices they they be fluctuating sometimes you be walking sometimes you be like what happened i woke up i woke up and it was this 
I went to bed and then I woke back up and it was smaller. But then I went to bed and I woke back up and it was bigger. You don't, you don't know, it fluctuates. So I decided to go ahead and get me something real small and reliable. Yeah, I wanted a Jeep. Remember, I told y'all I wanted a Jeep. You, you remember that? Yeah, I didn't get to do that. Because y'all, I also wanted something that was going to be in my payment range. I kept on telling the people at the car lot, listen, if it's not in this payment range, I ain't going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I got other bills. I got other things I need to be doing in my life. I don't want to be tied down to just bills. I want to be able to go places and do things. And I want, this is what I want. And that's what I told them. I'm going to insert a picture or a little video of the car right here. And y'all, I got offended the other day. Yeah, I was out and about. I was going to see my brother. And I was out and about and I had someone tell me because they hadn't seen me in a while. They had the nerve to tell me that I don't even know if I can say it. Y'all probably already know what they said. But they said that I had got fat. <sighs> Y'all, we got to stop. We got to stop. This society has to stop doing that. When you see somebody and you haven't seen them in a while or you just saw them or whatever it is, stop approaching that person and be offensive toward them. Saying that they didn't got fat, it looked like they pregnant. Whatever it is that you see on them. Even if they have gained 20 pounds, even if they've lost 30 pounds and they look malnutrition. What? Y'all? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a mukbang. Okay? I'm going to do a mukbang. I don't know when I'm going to do it. Because like I told y'all, I'm working overtime till uh, I think it's going to be to the 15th. Um, and I really haven't had the time to do a mukbang. But that's what I'm going to talk about on my mukbang. Is... When you first see a friend of yours that you haven't seen in a long time or family member, what's the first thing you say to them? Do you say, hey, oh, I ain't seen you in a long time and hug them and give them all the love that you, you know, you haven't seen them in a while. So you love it on them. Or do you say, oh, you didn't got fat. Hit me up in the comments and let me know. What, what's up? Why, why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? And I know it's not just me. I know it's just not me. Don't leave me out here alone. It's some people that have offended you when you haven't seen them in a long time. It could be your classmates, your family members, your school teacher, whatever. And the first thing that come out their mouth or your mouth, are you being offensive? Because if you are, stop it. Stop it. It's, it's a lot of words that you can say when you first see that person. First of all, love on them, because you ain't seen them in a long time. Woo, I ain't seen you in a long time, okay? And if that's all the words that you have, if that's all the words that you have is I haven't seen you in a long time, how you been doing? Leave it, leave it like that. How your mama them doing? How your daddy them doing? How your sister them been doing? Try to find words other than... Oh, it look like you didn't got big. Oh, you look like you didn't gain 20, 30. Oh, it look like you pregnant. Do you know how offensive that is? <sighs> Y'all know I don't, you know, I got, you know, I lit into that butt. I, I, I lit into that butt after they said that. I lit, I lit it up because I don't play no games about that. Yeah, I'm going to turn the tables and put it on you and make you feel a certain type of way. And I don't like to do that. I don't like to do that to people. I don't like to do tit for tat, but when you keep saying it and you think you being cute, I'm going to get back cute with you. I'll see y'all in a little bit. We're going to go uh, Christmas shopping and then, yeah, we'll see what else we can get into. Bye, you guys. One eternity later. Hey. What's up, y'all? I'm hungry.
I want some tacos. Let me turn this heat off. Cause it's not, at first it was kind of cool this morning. So we're gonna go get us some tacos. Y'all hungry? Come on, let's go. Let's go get us something to eat. Cause uh, yeah, I need me a good old taco. Okay, I'll see y'all over there. Okay, thank you for my car. Cause I don't want my car to be my new car to be trashy. Mmm. These right here are delicious. Thank you. You too. Diablo. Diablo. That was a quick little drive. Let's go home. We bet. Asking all these questions, you must think you look that's good. Hey, yeah. We back, y'all. I look like I'm uh <laughs> with these shades on. I look like I'm about to go do something that I ain't supposed to be doing. What y'all think, huh? My little Dollar Tree shades. Oh, these come from Dollar Tree? No, these came from Timu. These came from Timu. Yeah, I think I'm about to go do something with these big old shades on. What I'm about to go do? Have surgery? Go try to bust somebody for doing something they ain't supposed to be doing. Yeah. Yeah. I got the food, child. Let's make sure they did my taco right. And they did. Woo! Thank you. They did, y'all. They did my taco right. So y'all are propped up all kind of crazy. You know why? Because I still haven't got all my other stuff out of my other car. So my mount for my camera and all that. But yeah. I was in the house earlier. Let's say Grace. Are we doing a mug bay? Are we doing a mug bay? I was in the uh in the house earlier watching uh 48 hours. Let's say Grace. Amen. Y'all, I was in there watching 48 hours. Y'all know I went to school for criminal justice. I got a degree and everything. Sure do. I love watching IDTV, 48 hours, all the mystery stuff so I can say who did it. When Scott Peterson walked out that house, I knew he had killed his wife. It's just something that, that I could feel. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm in there watching 48 hours, man, and when I say these people be having me laughing. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Be having me rolling. You know you did it. You know you did it. Mmm. That be that um Diablo. Woo, it's spicy, but it's so good. I was watching one 48 hours. And it was kids. Yeah. Literally, literally kids. And this is the one that was they were in Miami. Miami. Y'all already know Miami is hardcore. 
It's hardcore, baby. You think New York, Philadelphia, Miami? Go watch 48 Hours. Some of the stuff that be happening in Miami. They be uh, dismembering my... I'm trying to eat. So I ain't going to eat. Hmm. Yeah, I was watching um this episode where one kid thought the other kid had stole his gun. And so he ended up shooting the other kid. I think they were like 16 years old, y'all. Babies. Babies. Yeah. I need to redo my hair, but I'm not I'm not ready to redo it yet. I'm gonna wait till it get a little bit closer to Christmas, and then I wash it and redo it. Yeah. But I ain't want nothing. I just want to eat my lunch with my little sis or my little brother. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah, I got my Christmas present early. Mm-hmm. I sure did. Let me let that window up some these flies. Mm. And and the reason I bring this up, y'all, is make sure you are doing stuff for you. Do not work your whole life. And not do something for you. Okay? Do something for you that makes you happy. That makes you proud. Okay? Yeah, I look like I'm going to go do something. I look just like my mama though. Woo-wee! You look just like your mama girl. Mm. I'm going to... Um, Go in the house and finish eating my lunch. And then I'll catch up with you guys later on. We'll get into the streets and hit some of these stores and see if we can find some good deals. I already know Black Friday is over with. But guess what? It's Black Friday all month. And then some, sometimes up into this January, the two weeks into January, they'll be trying to get rid of all that stuff, y'all. So I'll see y'all in a minute, okay?
Good morning, you guys. How are y'all doing? Hope y'all are doing good. I'm back. Yeah, <laughs> I found it. I couldn't find it at my local grocery store. Man, y'all know I was like, what? When I say this is delicious, with that uh, pumpkin spice creamer, baby. Cheers. Okay, let me come around so I can show y'all what I got at the mall yesterday. Which, if I go back to the mall again, just, just, I don't know. I don't know. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Hope y'all are doing good. I'm back. Yeah, it's the next day. So, we went to the mall. Yeah. I'm going to do something with myself. But it ain't going to be right now. Uh, hold on. Let me put some us uh, on my lips. Hold on real quick. Yeah. I said one thing about it and two things for sure. I do not like when people have that little stuff right there on the side of their mouth. Especially anytime. Did that make sense? That mean I don't like it at all. I know we get it. That's why a lot of times, you know, we we do like this, you know, cause you know. But anyway, I'm back from the mall. I did not like it, but I had to do it anyway. I went Christmas shopping, so I can't show y'all everything because y'all already know. Because everybody, you know what I'm saying, and they they grandma and they aunties watch my channel, and I got Christmas gifts for a lot of people. So, um, this morning I did wrap some of the gifts. Yeah. Look, quick look. Yeah, so, um, I'm very upset with myself because I did miss, um, I missed Candle Day. Yeah, I missed Candle Day. I don't know how it happened. Y'all already know that Candle Day is one of my favorite days. And I love to go and smell the new candles, go to the store and pick out two or three candles for myself. And I missed it. I'm so upset, but I did buy some things. Yeah. I was able to catch, um, what, what do they call these little, I forgot what they call them, but I was able to catch the sale. It was three for nine eighty five, I think. Three for fifteen or something like that. On their little um what do you call these things? The wildflowers. Yeah. I was able to catch the sale on the wildflowers. So I got this right here so that the wildflower can go in. And I think this right here was like five dollars, like six bucks. It was like I hope y'all can see that. It was like $5.95 or something like that. Yeah, $5.95. You have to have these in order for the wildflower to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I got that. I only bought one. Yeah. Remember, I told y'all we on a budget. Especially now. Hey, baby. But I ain't going to let that stop me from doing what I need to do. So, then I went and... The, the kind that I got, I got all of the same kind, y'all. And my favorite candle for my kitchen is Lemonello. It smells just like lemons. And this is it right here. And I got three of them. I got three. So I'll put this in my kitchen. It smells so good y'all whenever you get through cleaning up that kitchen baby and you light that candle and it's smelling like lemon like just fresh you know i love it i actually went on gym sharks on their black friday sale and y'all i picked out me some new gym shark workout stuff most of it is bottoms i only picked out one top so, I'm not going to show y'all. I'm going to do like a little five minute trial haul. And I'm going to post it on YouTube. Of course. It's content, baby. So, um, these are from Gym Shorts. Of course, y'all know I crossed out my little address and stuff. 
And then they sent one separate. I was waiting for that to come in. So yeah, Christmas came early. So I'm gonna do like a little try on haul with the gym shark stuff. Y'all, they say gym sharks is the best. Man, yeah, yeah. And their stuff was like $10. $15 and y'all guess what it don't got the scrunchy booty It don't have the scrunchy booty sis little brother It don't have that little scrunchy booty that I hate That I got from Shein but which I know Shein probably don't all of them are not scrunchy booties But the ones that I seem to pick out had the scrunchy booty and I hate it a lot of people like the scrunchy booty, but I hate having the scrunchy booty. I don't like the scrunchy booty. I do not. So, I got me some stuff from Gym Sharks. And I spent under $100, y'all. And I got five, five or six pieces. And I'll show y'all. But I want to do like a little try on, you know, and post it on YouTube. Just so I can, you know what I'm saying, get a little content. Hey, you are the content. Okay, and then also I went to let's get on to the next thing cuz I don't want to drag all this out talking to y'all about gym shorts Cuz I can't wait to try it on y'all. I haven't tried on anything. So I went over to Foot Locker and Of course y'all know why I went to Foot Locker. I can't show y'all what I got from Foot Locker Because my son but I did buy me a pair of joggers from Foot Locker. They were on sale for like five dollars y'all Yes, and they champion the material is really, really thick, and they're joggers. Yeah. Yeah, the original price of these were $28. They're champion. And let me see. Yeah, this is the original price, 28 bucks, and I got them for five bucks. Yes, baby, and the material is really, really thick, Y'all, yeah, I had to, I had to set me up a pair, and I'm mad because everybody did not already picked over them, and I, I was able to find me a large. Can you believe it? Yes. I, I can't wait to wear these. Put these on with me a hoodie, baby. You know this is hoodie weather and sweater, sweater weather. Yeah. So I got those from Foot Locker, and uh let's see y'all know uh y'all saw me go in h and m yeah went in h and m and i got a few things from h and m but you already know i can only show you my stuff so i got this cute little top for 9.99 and it says coca-cola mm -hmm. It's not a hoodie, but it is a sweatshirt, so, yeah. It has Coca-Cola on the front. And then on the sleeve, it has the Coca-Cola design on that side. And I got this in a large. Yeah. I can't wait to wear this cute little top sweatshirt, rather. With, um, probably, uh, I'll probably have my white sweatpants on with that and yeah hit the streets y'all i like cozy i don't know about nobody else i don't mind dressing up but for certain things i will dress up weddings uh if i'm going out to the uh you know a nice dinner i'll fix myself up really really nice but i do like cozy so cozy for me especially in this kind of weather is jogging pants and a sweatshirt or you know whatever you know just cozy you know, cozy. It also got me from H&M. This cute little shirt that says Harvard on it. It's a hoodie. Let me try to see if I can pull it a little bit closer. And I love that it has the little pockets right here in the front. It is a hoodie. And this was... This was $10.99 on sale from the original price. Looks like it was $30 bucks up here, the US. So it was $30 and I got it for $10.99. That's not bad. And I got it in a 
medium. I don't know about y'all, but H&M clothes run kind of big. And that's all that I got. That's all that I got for myself. So I do got a pair of, I got to go tomorrow and get, it might be tomorrow. I might wait later in the week and pick up some. I ordered me some tennis shoes, some new tennis shoes. They're so cute. They're New Balance. Yeah, I got to go pick those up and I'll show y'all those too. But those are my kind of like my Christmas gifts that I got for myself. I got me some new workout stuff. Of course, some cozy hoodies. And yeah, mm -hmm. and some joggers. So those are my gifts to myself. Because what did I tell y'all? Don't work all your life and not take care of you. Okay? Which side? Yeah. Make sure you are taking care of you. Okay, whether it be getting your nails done, going to the spa, getting you a nice facial, whatever it is that you need to do to take care of you, sis, do that. So I did treat myself to a few things. Yeah. So with that being said, I got to get back to work. I'm going to go ahead and close out the video right here. I show, I appreciate you guys. Y'all, y'all my people. Okay, and I say this all the time. Y'all my people, and when you get into your feelings and stuff, and you be feeling like you ain't my people, or you don't got no people, you got some people over here. Okay, I'm, I'm your people. I'm your people, okay? We, we're building a community, and I love it. I really do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close out the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new and I didn't say my name, my name is Pinky. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload another video. And remember what I always tell you guys. Make sure you are living your best life. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, you guys.